Hey what's up guys, David here from Dignited. Today I'll be breaking down what's new with the Roku Ultra 2024 which was released just two weeks ago and I'll compare it with the previous model. By the end of this video you will get to know if it's worth the upgrade. Alright, let's dive right into it. Alright now let's start with what's new with the Roku Ultra 2024. One, we have faster performance. Now, according to Roku, the new Roku Ultra 2024 boosts a quad-core processor that is 30% faster, giving you a much smoother and a more responsive streaming experience. That is really cool. Then you have enhanced wireless connectivity. With Wi-Fi 6 now included, you get to experience faster speeds, especially in congested environments, compared to the previous model's Wi-Fi 5. That's really nice. Then you get improved picture and audio quality. Now the Roku Ultra 2024 continues to support 4K, HDR10+, Dolby Vision, and Dolby Atmos for that true cinematic experience. All right, interesting. Then you get an upgraded remote, right? The Voice Remote Pro 2nd Edition, which ships with this new device, now features backlit buttons, USB-C charging, and a lost remote finder, which is really handy when that remote goes missing. Awesome. Then you get HDMI 2.1B. Now that is a big upgrade from HDMI 2.0B. HDMI 2.1B supports much higher resolutions and refresh rates along with advanced features like dynamic HDR, and variable refresh rate which is really perfect for gamers and watching cinematic content. All right now let's look at features that are available in both models all right. Of course you have the lost remote finder this is available in the new version and the previous version. You simply press that button at the back of the Roku Ultra or you can use your voice to say hey Roku where is my remote and you'll never lose it again. Awesome. Then you have Bluetooth audio streaming. Okay, you can simply pair your favorite Bluetooth headphones for wireless audio streaming. Yes, most Roku streaming players actually don't have Bluetooth. All right, so this is really a very good addition to have Bluetooth supported across the Ultra series. Then you have an Ethernet port. In both devices, you have wired Ethernet for faster and a much stable connection, right? Yes. However, you have speeds up to 100 Mbps. Roku has it added gigabit Ethernet to these devices. I don't know why, but it is still much better than using Wi-Fi, especially where you have spotty connections. All right, now you also have USB 3.0 port in both models, right? So with USB 3.0 on your device, you get faster access to local media. So for example, if you have your movies or music stored on a USB flash or external hard drive, you could easily plug it in there and just watch your local content instead of, you know, spending too much money on those streaming services. Awesome. Then you have 4K streaming, right? So both devices deliver 4K streaming. You also have HDR10 and 10 Plus and Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos support for that top-notch picture and sound quality. So overall, I think the new Roku Ultra 2024 is very interesting. It has new features and I've tabulated the comparison of the previous model, which is the Roku Ultra 2022, along with the new Ultra, which is the Roku Ultra 2024. And as you can see here in a quick summary, starting with the processor, you have 30% faster processing speeds. Uh, that is according to Roku. This is not verified yet. You have Wi-Fi 6, okay, up from Wi-Fi 5. Both devices have Bluetooth for your streaming. You have HDMI 2.1B up from HDMI 2.0B. And this is really great if you use your Roku TV for gaming, all right? You can uh, take advantage of those features that come with uh, HDMI 2.1B. And then both devices have kept Ethernet speeds up to 100 Mbps. Not too bad. And then you have USB 3.0, okay? Then you have a voice remote pro second generation here coming with a new device. 
okay and then you have adobe atmos and dts in both devices you have all the hdr standards okay supported across both devices and even the weight and the size of both devices seems to be almost the same right now when it comes to the pricing the new device is slightly more expensive by roughly ten dollars so the roku ultra 2024 goes for 79.99 dollars whereas the old one is at 69.99 dollars right so is it worth the upgrade right so if you're looking for faster performance better wireless connectivity and enhanced hdmi capabilities then i personally think that the roku ultra 2024 is definitely the best way to go but if those upgrades don't feel essential to you then you're probably better off sticking with the roku ultra 2022 it's still a solid choice all right let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.